Why Albania? Albania? <laughs> well, Albania. You know, that's a, what a question, though. I know you're going to ask me why Albania. Well, Albania. It's the only country in Europe I haven't been to virtually, uh, and. I started researching it about a year ago and found that Albania is actually the most interesting country in Europe. And it has more connections with England than virtually anywhere else, including France and Greece and all the places we assume have connections with England. Going back to um, 1809, which was the year that Byron rode through Albania and wrote Child Harold, which was an instant bestseller in London, then in 1859, Edward Lear did the best pictures of the Balkans um, when he rode through Albania, and we'll be following some of his route as well. And there's an amazing Victorian traveler, Edwardian traveler, called Edith Durham, who traveled through the mountains where we're starting. And she uh, became so much loved by the Albanians, this rather stout little tough Victorian English lady who did things that were unthinkable. I mean, went through areas that were totally closed to foreigners and had a, a most extraordinary time and became loved by them and was called the Queen of the Mountains. And she um, is another person whose footsteps we'll be following. We start off on a route that she took over the mountains. And um, so those are just three literary people. There are, I have a thousand books about Albania on my book list. And yet, just now, when I was saying to somebody else at this lunch party that I was going to Albania. He said to me, he's an intelligent man, he's sitting down the other end of the table, and he said to me, where is Albania? I mean, almost no other European country would you find somebody saying, where is Albania? There's a sort of block. People don't know where it is, and they ought to, because it's the most interesting country in Europe.